Hey everyone, it's Up North Collectors here. We are opening up the brand new release of 2022 Bowman Sterling, where you get five autographs in this box. They're going for $325 at most places. It loops knocking over the display in the back. I would just say that your layup here is quite interesting. But Bowman Sterling just came out, uh, well, not technically today. We're opening this a day early. Comes out tomorrow. Uh, got a couple of boxes in here early today off of the UPS truck. Um, so there are five mini boxes in here, five autographs per box. Um, you get a couple of numbered cards per box. The checklist is actually really good. So it's a hundred card base checklist, 50 rookies, 50 prospects. Um, and then there are only 10 rookie autographs that you can get out of here. And it's basically all the big names plus so, a couple of guys. So it's Julio, Julio Wander. Bobby Witt, Wander. The only guy that's not on there is Stephen Kwan. He does not okay. have cards in here. Yep. Um, but does everyone else any is. cards at all? Not that I am aware right. of, no. And so who are we looking for? The same guys basically in all the rest of the Bowman releases so exactly. far this year? Exactly. Yep. So the same guys as in your Khalil Watsons, your Ellie De La Cruz. Uh, I don't know if Jackson Churio has autos in here or not. Okay. I forgot to look at that. But if he does, that would be a really nice addition to the checklist. No, you could turn, turn around once. Is there any odds on those boxes? There are on the mini boxes. There I was so just going to cut boxes, the shrink wrap yeah. off. Uh, so so you, get, you get five mini boxes. Each box has an autograph. I did see that some places were selling these mini boxes individually. So if they're at the at a decent price, you know, it may not be a bad yeah, it's kind of fun. bad rip because um, you are guaranteed one autograph. Obviously, in the box, you're going to get a variety of stuff, and usually there's going to be one autograph that's better than the rest as far as generally goes. yeah there also is a bet autograph checklist in here that's loaded uh it's yeah. really really good it's trout uh, just everybody yeah, all everybody the good, all the yep. good names otani that, um, that yeah exactly stuff. so everybody's in there so there are some really cool vet autos as well the cards look beautiful um really really sharp design so let's go ahead and get into it we've got double beef in our first pack here but here's a first look at the design very very clean looking cards i really like the the design so real, real chrome uh finish to them obviously and yeah it's different than um bowman uh what's the one that what's Bowman's the retail best. one no the retail bowman, bowman platinum yeah bowman platinum that's right. not even close to that it's not yeah. even close to that so don't even think that when you but get people do kind of this. associate right. that with this but right. it's not now if you're a little bit newer to collecting bowman sterling back in like 13 14 was about the most premium yeah. box you could yeah, get yeah it was i mean it was like a 300 hundred dollar box at the time which was very very expensive so and then dynasty and all these other yep, super exactly. high-end products like they do now what, what else is coming out this week? There's a Hunter Green. Uh, so we have a Hunter Green rookie. Uh, two and three is the other baseball release. Two and three okay. baseball. And then Isn't there's... there a couple high-end ones? Like National Treasure it... Soccer, Spectre Basketball, and Certified Football. Okay. Um, here's a refractor for the Mariners. That could be good. Out of 199. That's actually pretty solid. Harry Ford. Yeah. Numbered five of 199. And See another Mariner in the back with some ink on it. Rocky. That could actually be pretty good if it's a prospect auto. Benny Montgomery potentially would be nice. I don't think it's him. Nope. Ezekiel Tovar. Don't know autograph. about him, but it's on card. So yeah, on card auto. Cool. Base auto. There's a look at the backs of them. P A E T. Mm -hmm. And then it does their refractor on the refractor. Not uh, numbered, that one. Not numbered on the auto. Um, so definitely some cool stuff in here. The price tag is pretty expensive, but last year's stuff is about the same price. It's not yeah. really any different. But let's just compare this to Tops 2022 that came out at 300 yeah, bucks a box. It, yeah, it's the same price as Tops <laughs> right. Chrome when it came out. So. Yeah, yeah. So Tops Chrome when it came out was at 300 bucks a box. This is 325 when it comes out, and you're getting getting five autographs. So yeah, we got double beef again in here. Now I think I think the parallels are different numbered in here. Like I think like red's numbered to five. There's a black that's numbered to ten. Yeah, there's some different yeah, stuff some in Sterling. Yeah, some different different numbering uh, than your typical tops. So we got a Luis Fries rookie, and then for the Indians, numbered to that's nice that's for the Guardians. Bad, yeah. Jorge Valera out of one ninety nine. I see a bat, which is always good on the auto. Yeah, you, know, you want to get a bat. You want to get a position for player. the Rangers. I don't know who they're. Yeah. Sam Huff, maybe. Maybe. Yep. No. No. Oh, Luis oh. Angel Acuna. Okay. All right. It's not, not bad. bad. Not great, but not terrible. Uh, sort of one of those mid tier. It's probably like a twenty or thirty dollar auto, just a yeah. mid tier prospect kind of. Uh, I mean, he's an upper prospect, but not like a huge, huge name. So there we go. These are not going to sell as well as the first Bowman autos of these guys, obviously. No, Pretty no. comparable to like what a Bowman's best auto would sell yep. for. Yep. I'll let you open up the next thing. Yeah, here. so let's see if we can hit a rookie 
one of the top rookies or one of those vet autos would be sweet. And there's some really cool dual and triple autos in here as well. I mean, you can hit some monstrous stuff, but it's just a matter of getting it. Yeah, you know? so, yeah, exactly. It's, you know, it's one of those products where if you like to rip a whole bunch of packs, uh, it's not, you know, necessarily that, but at the same time, it's not a one and done. So you do get five, you know, five boxes, five packs. Which is, cool product. which is pretty fun. We've opened this before. We opened this in like 2020, I want to say. Yeah, we did. Um, which is, it was fun then when we did it. Um, and I'm sure these base cards and stuff will sell well right There's away. There's something colorful kind of in color. there. Yeah. yeah. All right. So, yeah, Guzman. Yeah, they, the cards look really clean. That's for sure. The next one might be your auto. I don't know. Yeah, we'll go for no. it. No. So, two from your back. Yeah, there we go. Auto. Yep. Um, and there Dominguez. is a Dominguez. Let's go back, back. here. Yitty. Yiddy. And I don't know who that is. Yurbina. Yurbina. Yeah. Know. Don't know who that is either. Let's see. Interesting. Twins, free agent, free agent. Free agent. Let's All see right. what this is. It does look colorful. Ooh, Ooh, that looks really cool. This could be is this interesting. the top. Yeah, okay, so let's... this might be something. Acuna. Acuna. Is this a Ronald Acuna auto? It is. Ronald Acuna. Oh, man. Too to bad. Ten. Wow. Six of ten. Too bad it's like a little bit on the streaky side. All but... of his autos are. They all are that way. But there you go. Six of ten. Dang, Ronald Acuna that's a auto. cool. That awesome. That's a sweet. Wow, well, we did get a we did get a, um, a veteran player. Yeah, that's, that's pretty cool. sweet. Um, too bad he just is not having the. Yeah, the greatest the, of the years. The greatest here, of but, years, but hey, still. Not bad at all. Yeah, he's a fun player to watch no matter what. And you got to remember, the guy came off a massive injury too, so. He sells well. That still is probably about $125 to $150 auto yeah. uh, being in a 10. So. Are a lot of his autos, do they? A lot of them I, look I, every, like that? Almost they, every Acuna auto I've ever had has been as streaky as that. They all are like that. Yeah. Interesting. It's just the way he signs them. Yeah. Because um, if you look at them, most of them are that way. So, But cool to get a bet auto. I wasn't sure how hard those yeah. are. Yeah, number to so. 10. So that's. I wonder what the the name of the set. It's, yeah, it's the insert. It's like Showstoppers or something. It's SSA. It's like okay, Showstoppers, and they, so there's probably only but, ten of those. There's probably no parallels to that, is what I'm guessing. A super fractor, I bet. Okay, yeah, we got something else here. Special Shiny, yep. Jirai. Oh, there we go. Nice. Sweet. All right. Trade it. Nice. That's a nice looking card. So oh, put that Duran. in the yeah Duran. Sleeves over here. Uh, behind see. that, uh, Perez. Perez and. Volpe. Hey, Volpe. All right, so we got some good Yankees, which is always Just one good. Today. So, Duran, show us somebody good. Let's see a rookie auto. That would be cool. All right, let's see. Not a rookie. It's a speckle. Four. I don't recognize it. Oscar Colas. Colas? I don't know. Hmm, don't, don't know, know him anything. either. I don't even remember him. Some of these guys might not have had Bowman's. Like, I don't remember Oscar Colas from any Bowman release. Where's not the, sure. Where's the numbering on it? To top left to 99. Oh, there. Right, duh. Right yep. there. I just missed it. Yep. 65 so to 99. All right. Last pack. So, pretty decent box overall. Yeah, so far. Bad. I mean, nothing crazy, but we did. We hit, at least we hit the Julio base. That's a... I mean, Julio base, honestly, off the gun, will probably sell for like 30-ish dollars, 40 bucks. Yeah, at I, least. Maybe at even least. more. I mean, because you're not going to get one in every box. Not even close. It's a 100-card checklist. Right. You're only getting... Right like roughly 40 base cards yeah no not 40 not 20 base cards roughly yeah out of 32 total right 30 yeah. or 30 yeah, yeah so, so roughly 20 days i would say yeah so i mean some of the names we pulled are actually really good then when you consider yeah. the odds um having and there's uh, 50 rookies so. yeah all right so not let's bad. see here he's uh clases was pretty um sought after in uh bowman this that year next one might be your oh no it's not no it's the one after that no, oh nope it is like, all right there you go. Perez. Perez. Well, he doesn't sell for hardly any. Yeah, not think. the guy we wanted. No. But let's see if we can get. There's Jake, Jake Myers. Myers. Okay. And behind that, Cabrera. Cabrera. Mm -hmm. And Bruhan. Bruhan. All right. So that pack was probably the worst pack out it of It was. But, but there you can see some of those mini boxes. You can win on some. You can definitely lose on some mini boxes. Mini boxes of this, if you're. Like, if you're going to your local shop, I'd expect mini boxes to be about 70 bucks a box, give or take. Um, that's a pretty fair percentage upcharge considering that put you at three fifty a box. So I mean, it's hard to see on camera, maybe not, but these cards are beautiful looking. They um, actually don't really have many quality issues either. No, like I very didn't, clean. For have you seen are. any scratches There's a couple on little these? Things on them, but not yeah. much. Yeah. So I mean, this obviously was the card of the break here. Yeah, that Acuna. Was the Acuna. Cool. Um, that's a nice looking card. I do. I like the design of it and the the um, these lines, whatever they are. Those, those look, look cool. Uh, really cool on there. So cool set. 
I think fun. overall, I give this out of 10, like a 7. It's a good product. It's a little... If this was like 250 a box, yeah. it'd be more like, ooh, you know, that's not bad. Yeah. But because it's 325 it's more like... Mm. Yeah, considering considering going back to what we said earlier, if you had to open up a box of Topps Chrome from 2022 for 300 bucks, which of course they're not that anymore, but if you did... And you compare that with this, I'd take this all day long. Yeah, um, that, yeah, I, I would agree. Um, Just because you get the five autographs and the cards look sweet and typically chrome in the past, this, you know, it's hard to hit out of it. Well, I was going to say, even like Bowman from this year is like 275 or 300 a box right now. Yeah. So it really, it really isn't, it, when you look at it that way, it's not as bad. No. It's still, again, if this was like $250, I'd be much more inclined to be like, oh yeah, that's a good value. Right. I right. would say it's a fair value right now, probably. Yeah. And it's going to be interesting to see, will these drop in price? Will they stay or will they increase? It just depends a lot of times on the scarcity, how many, how many people are breaking this. And then, you know, did I, they do they get bought up quickly? I think what? you'll see them settle at about 310 bucks. Um, yeah. Eventually, they'll be 340 350 But I would say they're not going to move a ton. Um, uh, but we'll yeah. see. Apparently, yeah. apparently, people are getting the allocated price is the same as the rebuy. So, like, the shop, like, your shops are paying $305, basically, yeah. for these. Unless they have a Topps Direct account. That's what they're paying from yep. GTS. So, if you're right. So, if you're, right. So if you're so, getting it from a distributor. Yep. yep. If you got a Topps Direct, it's a lot cheaper. But... Um, Not anyways. necessarily. It depends on the product, but yes. Uh, so we'll see with yeah. that. Some cool releases coming up for baseball, actually. We've got some fun stuff. Some cool Panini stuff coming out. So 2 and 3. Yeah, um, what is 2 and 3? It's like Panini 1, more expensive. Okay. I don't know if I'm a huge fan. But yeah. I just got a case today coming in the beginning of November of Panini Capstones Baseball, which actually looks really, really cool. Oh, that's a new one, um, isn't it's it? It's a new one. It's like the Cornerstones basketball set that they made. I think okay. It, but yep. it's, they made it several packs, so it's 12 packs per box, 6 cards per pack with all the Capstones patch autos. Oh. It seems pretty cool, and it's going to be like a $125 box, I think, so okay, more affordable. Okay, so not super expensive. So it, it looks like it could be a pretty fun set. So we have that update. Spo is supposed to come out here at like the end of the month or the beginning of November. That'll be fun. Uh -huh. So um, is it is it end of the month now or is it? I, it's one of the two. I have to look at the release date, but it's one of the two weeks. Because it got pushed back. It was supposed to be uh, what this week or yeah. the week before. I think and it's then end it of got the pushed month. I think it's back. like the twenty eighth yeah. of October. It okay. Comes out. Yeah. That'll be huge. That'll be a big set. Right now, one of the hottest things moving around uh, was last week's release of uh, archives. Um, I mean, the boxes are still like 135, 150, somewhere in there. Yeah, um, but, I'm in my store for 135. Yeah, and they're selling, um, but they're hard to. They, they're just hard to find. They're right hard now. to find. Yeah. I think the yeah, they're scarce. I think they didn't make tons of it. So yeah. Anyways, that's a fun fun rip. But they also have a few high end ones coming out. Top Luminaries shows. comes out this week too. That's the other yeah. one. Yeah, and there's one more I saw on a checklist. I can't remember what's called. Oh, I know. There's. I know what you're talking about. I saw it too on on the pre-release thing. That doesn't come out till next week. I don't think. Okay. But it's also yeah. like it's like five hundred bucks. A yeah, box. they're all right. They're all luminaries right. is also like five hundred a box. Yep, like five six hundred. The two releases were. All right, guys. Well, thanks so much for watching. If you haven't yet, hit that thumbs up button. Let us know what you think of this product. Would you buy it? Would you buy into a break? Would you buy a single box? Would you buy the whole, I mean, uh, individual box, a mini box, or would you buy the whole hobby box? Let us know in the comments below. Love to hear from you. And uh, tell us what your favorite card is and who are you rooting for to make it to the World Series? Yes, a lot of things to tell us, but tell us at least one of those in the comments below. Love to hear from you. So take care. Have fun collecting. Once again, please like, comment, and subscribe. We'll see you soon.